Reconstruction are clamping down on Wilton's highway garage. It's been three weeks since flames destroyed it. When I saw the flames coming through the roof, I just, I, I just, I was devastated by the extent of what I saw. It began as a flicker, a short in a wire, but diesel fuel in trucks nourished the flames. Fifteen vehicles ruined, six snow plows gone, more than two million dollars of damage. David Bellistero works at the garage. He's also a firefighter who tried to protect it. When we leave a fire scene, normally you pack up your hoses, you feel bad for the ones that lose, but uh, this one comes back to you the next morning, you got to come in and start cleaning up and try to put it all back together. Town Supervisor Johnson says Wilton's recovering a lot quicker than he anticipated. As it snows, they're keeping roads safe with plows on loan from neighboring towns. Reconstruction is expected to take a year. It still smells like smoke in the Wilton Town courtroom. Because of heavy smoke damage, the place has been unusable since the fire. To reduce the danger level of possible future fires, reconstruction designs call for garages to be completely separate from office space. John Helnick has worked with Wilton's Highway Garage for 13 years. Through this destruction, he doesn't see much loss. It was a little upsetting, but I just think back to last September, and to me, it's just metal, plastic, and rubber that can all be replaced. Nobody got hurt, and that was the only thing that mattered to me. And the only thing that mattered to most people. In Wilton, Duarte Geraldino, Capital News 9.